everybody this is Kutu Tutorials and today we are going to go over how to make a basic AI for your game. For this game I am using a skele the skeleton that I just pulled straight from the Unreal content browser so it's the same mannequin that you would always see anywhere. As always if you're unsure if this tutorial is right for you you can skip to the last minute to 30 seconds and I'll go over everything that I've done in this video. If you, um, what I'm going to do in this video is go up, uh, go over how to set up an anim uh, blueprint for your AI character. Um, so let's get started. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder at the very beginning, and we're going to name it AI. It's very important to have separate folders and organize your stuff very neatly. Next. I'm going to make a skeleton folder inside my AI folder and I'm also going to make an animations folder. Okay now in my skeleton folder here are my different FBX files that I'm using uh, for this tutorial. So I'm going to drag my skeleton folder until I see the little uh, square appear inside my content browser. That means I can add it to my uh, level. So it's important that you have both skeletal mesh and me import mesh selected. And a skeleton, you want none because it's going to make uh, a skeleton for itself. So you're going to import, and that's fine. It's just saying it doesn't have smoothing groups. So this is exactly what we want right now. Just a blank skeleton. Now we're going to go over to animations folder and all I have for this tutor tutorial is an idle walk and run. That's all we're going to need for this short tutorial and we'll get more animations as we need them and I'll import them with you. So I'm going to take my idle walk run and I'm going to drag it into my content browser and I'll wait for the little uh, square with a plus sign on it. It's going to import them and this time it's not going to ask you, assuming it's exported correctly, it's not going to ask you for a if you want to import mesh because there's going to be no mesh data. But under skeleton we're going to pick our skeleton that we just imported. It's important that you, for me, mine skeleton skeleton. So let's just select that, export time, and import all. So now we have our idle a run and our walk. And that's exactly what we want. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up what's called a blend space. What a blend space does is allows you to blend different animations into one seamless uh, animation. So I'm gonna, here. I'm going to go over that with, for that over that with you again. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to animation. I'm going to go to blend space 1D. You can do don't do blend space because that allows you it's much different. Blend Space 1D is all we're going to need for what's called an idle walk and run. So we're going to select Blend, blend Space 1D. And I'm selecting my skeleton skeleton. Alright, let's call that idle underscore walk underscore run. So we open this up and it's all we got. Is exactly what we want at the moment. Um, I like to work with display editor vertically, which is, in my opinion, just a little bit uh, easier. So we're going to go like that. Well, I'm going to do like that. You don't have to. And now idle goes at the very bottom. And mine disappeared because it's in a different place. It's just blow the world. It's just because it's blow the world, it, it's still fine. So I'm going to make that bigger so I have more space to work with. Now I have my idle at the very bottom and there's nothing else. Now I'm going to put my run at the very top because that's the fastest. I'm going to go. Now it just slowly blends through idle to run. But if you see at kind of like a midpoint where we would want to walk, he's just kind of like hovering. It's not really what we want. So we're going to add a walk around here. I like to go with the first line right here so it's idle, walk, run. And you can see the seamless transition. 
So now I'm going to enable this speed, which is very important because the axis in which he should blend between these is how fast he's going. He should be going zero when the x-axis is zero, let's say 100 when he's up, up here. And then, what is this? This is 24, which is fine. So I'm going to name it speed and go apply parameter change. And that's fine. All right. So now that we have our idle walk and run set up, we're going to close that out. And now we're going to get to actually making the anim BP. So we're going to right click and we're going to make a new folder and it's going to be called uh, anim BP. Sometimes we'll need more than one thing in this folder. So I'm just going to make that new folder and I'm going to right click inside this uh, content browser. I'm going to go to animation and I'm going to go to animation blueprint. It's going to ask me for my skeleton again. I'm going to click on skeleton type skeleton for me. Yours would be named differently assuming you're using a different skeleton. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to call this AI uh, underscore anim BP for blueprint. And press enter. Now as you can see he's in a T pose. It's not really what we want. We're going to put together a mini uh, state machine. I'm going to set up for you now, but we're not going to do any of the jumping animations, but I'm going to set up for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that off and I'm going to type in with context sensitive on um, state machine, add new state machine. Now it's going to give you a warning and that's fine. That just means that there's nothing inside, so it's not getting any information. It's okay, that's because we're about to put stuff in there. So we're going to drag that up and then we're going to add an estate. The state will be called idle slash walk slash run. And that's exactly what we want. And that's all we're going to do for now. So now inside our idle walk run, inside the state machine, I know complicated, right? We're going to pull this. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take, okay, we're, going to, we're in here. We're going to go to our asset browser. Then we're going to go to our idle walk run, grab that, and just drag it inside our working graph and place it down. Now we take our anim pose, this little guy, and connect it to this little guy. If we compile it, he's below the world, but he's he is uh, doing what he's supposed to. Now, the higher we make this, let's say we make it 50 or 40. Now he's walking, but we don't we don't want to change that number manually every time we want him to change speed. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click speed, and we're going to do promote to variable, and now a new variable is going to be made inside our blueprint variables, and we're going to call this speed. Now that we have this speed variable down, we're going to go back. We're not back. We haven't gone there before. We're just going to compile it. And we can even, this now our default speed is 40 and we don't want that. So we just block that, compile, whatever. Then we go to our event graph. Now in our event graph, we're going to have it set the, the speed to whatever, the uh, how fast we say the character is moving. So we're going to drag off from, this should already be in your world no matter what. Event blueprint update animation. It's not quite as fast as a tick, but it is updating almost as fast as a tick. We're going to drag that off, and we're going to just type in set speed. So now that we have that down, we're going to use this try get pawn owner. We're going to drag that off and do something called get velocity. That's just saying, that's just asking the owner of this blueprint, asking how fast he's going. Now from there, we're going to go from this, because we can't plug this straight into this. We were trying to plug this into this eventually, but it's not going to work because this is a vector variable and this is a uh, float variable. We're going to get the vector length is what we're going to do next. So get, or actually we'll just type in vector length, vector length. 
length. There, there we go. Now they're just getting the length of the vector. It's kind of like drawing a line. So we're gonna just gonna plug that back up in there. Now what this is doing is it gets the length of the vector and that's setting up most of all of our um, setting most of all of our anim blueprint. We type that into be a hundred. Just compile it. It's still not working because it's being set every single time. Now that I think is it for this tutorial. What we did this tutorial, I mean this video, we made a folder called AI. We imported our skeleton, which has now the base base material. We we uh, imported three animations: our idle walk and run. We made an idle walk run blend space 1D, and then we made an anim BP for our AI, and we set up a basic state machine. And then we had it set to the velocity of the character. That is it for this tutorial. Our next next in uh, the line of tutorials will be the we'll be creating a character blueprint and a AI controller for our little mannequin at the moment.